All right, so I'm going to give you an update on R2D2 because um, I had a power issue and it was all due to my wiring. Um, I was using a voltage regulator running the 12 volt system and running it up to the Kyber and I learned that the Kyber cannot be wired from the battery to the Kyber board through a regulator that has to go straight through the board. So after realizing that and realizing some other stuff, I changed my entire electrical out uh, power to 24 volts in the body, five for any electronic boards. Uh, electronic boards meaning the front logic display or the charging bay indicator. So that will be 12 or five volts. And then anything um, that's operating up in the dome will be five volts as well. The motors will be 24 volts. Let me turn it on. So in here, it's probably too dark, but I got the, the uh, this is for each of the foot motors to shut off power to them. And then I have that, the total power. I'm gonna have to readjust the panels. Um, as it goes through its little sequence, some of the panels are not setting all the way back to the zero point, um, which a little bit upsetting. I gotta do some adjustments. After I dropped the dome on the cement um, about a week ago, I shattered the radar eye this whole square, and I had to basically rebuild it with um, um, car putty and paint it. I didn't get it perfect, as you can see. There's a little couple imperfections. I chipped this panel, I chipped the top panel, and basically what it did is it knocked every single servo out of alignment that I had previously calibrated to be at its start points and end points. The issue that I was having is as I was as I was moving forward and back with R2, the Kyber board would shut down. And what he would do is he would basically have a spaz attack. He would jump forward about three feet at full throttle and then start spinning. And this lasted for about a second or two. And my fear was, well, one, I may blow a board because something's going on that shouldn't be occurring. And then second was that um, if there was a little kid that ran out in front of R2-D2, he probably could have got taken out very easily. So when I operate it, I've got the uh, FreeSky X20 receiver, and I have 15 buttons on the front. Alarms, chorus, happy, sad, data, uh, humming, Adams, Gunga, Leia, Luke. And then if I, if I hit this switch over here, then I get Cantina, Chewbacca, Four, Scream, Scream 2. Then I have different series down here. Open All, Lower 8, Center Top, Low 3, Low 8, and then of course my stop buttons on each one. So if I go with alarms, certain panels will open up. Maybe. There you go. Well, let, me, let me move them forward a little bit. There we go. So, as we're looking at him, and I'll bring the dome straight up front. There we go. The dome now that's 24 volts, hauls ass really good. Now when I do chorus, then of course it didn't do anything. Let's try it again. then it has a really long song that I don't want to get into. Okay, then we have Happy. So Happy, the, these three panels open. Do it again. There's, there's six different Happy sounds. There's about eight sad sounds. Now in the sad sounds, it's time to wear... And then Data is when it's sending or receiving data. So that you'll have panels on both sides open. And again, it's not fully closing. I have to reset the springs. I'm 
kind of upset I shouldn't have dropped it, but it is what it is. Humming. I don't know if you saw that. Then you got Adam's family. I don't know if I have any panels set to this yet. Oh, yep. I won't let it go. Gunga. Gunga, I've kind of timed some of the panels, and I've got to continue it. Uh, it takes a while, so I'll, here's the Gunga one. Oh, I hit it again by mistake. Sorry about that. I meant to hit stop. Then we'll do Leia. We'll do Luke. Greetings, exalted one. I'm Luke Skywalker. So we got this panel and the upper panel. I seek an audience with your greatness to bargain for Solo's life. With your wisdom, I'm sure that we can work out an arrangement which will be mutually beneficial and enable us to avoid any unpleasant confrontation. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift. These two droids. Both are hardworking and will serve you well. See, and then on this one, no matter what, the speed that it goes to close won't always close. So again, I've got to readjust all the servos in the dome, which has pissed me off. I got a little bye-bye. Bye-bye. Top one opens. Darth Vader. Still timing that one out a little bit. Then the Rebel. Okay, we'll go to the second one. I got the canteen. I don't think I have any panels yet. I'll have to see. Nope. Oh. I have the eight opening up, and then they slowly close. Then Chewbacca. And then the Force. The Force will be with you, always. Scream one. Scream 2. And what's supposed to happen when I do Scream 2... Supposed to spin it when they scream. I got the low 6 through 8. And that one's not set up. The top center's not set up. The pie... Then the low three, five. The low eight. And they go in sequence. And then they come back and close in sequence. Uh, then I can open all. And then I have sequence one, two, three, and then stop. So right now, that's pretty much what I have as far as timing. I still have to do the servos for the uh, arms. As you can see, I have my logic display all set up. This is the voltage that's in the body, voltage that's in the dome. This is for all the electronics. I have some accent lights, a couple of data cards, steel data cards. There's my charging port for charging the batteries. Um, my retaining bolt doesn't do much, just comes on and off. Um, and so, so far, everything seems to be working really good. Except that he's like really fast. Again, I'm worried. I'm worried I'm gonna run over a little kid. So, you better stay out of my way. The hard thing is not only controlling the dome and the body movement, forward, backwards, and so forth. I'm not that skilled at video games, so I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble here. 
but also trying to press the sound buttons and do the movement. So I'm just gonna have to play with it until I figure it out. Um, also, um, I noticed that my, my right leg is a little bit loose. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten up, maybe put a sleeve in the bolt holding pin on the crossbar through the body. But he is 100% functional working. Again, he's 24 volts, stepped down to five volts for all the electronic boards. And the last thing I need to do is I'm gonna go in and the three hollow projectors, they do come on, they do slightly move. I'm gonna have to go in there with the USB board uh, with a cable into the computer. I'm gonna have to reprogram those to come on a lot more often and move a lot more because I, I, I don't like the timing. I want it to have a lot more movement and lights come on and, and then we'll go from there. So in order to turn them off, all you have to do is go back into the back. There's three buttons. These two buttons are for the foot motors. And that way, if I ever push him, I've disconnected, the energy won't flow back into the board and burn out the motor uh, or the board. And then I have the total power off. And when I have this backing on, I'm, I'm actually going to have access to it through this panel. And I'm going to move three buttons right here where my hand is so I have better access. I can just go boop, 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 and we'll be set. So I've got a little bit more to do as far as moving those buttons and I'll put the back on, but this baby is ready to go to events. Um, I've already taken him to work and showed the, my coworkers and it was a blast. Uh, everyone stopped me for photos and videos. 